Hello, everybody. These readings are going to take you straight through the beginning of a Mercury retrograde into a really monumental, quite impactful solar eclipse set to happen on the 8th of April. My name is Yolanda Marie, and these messages are designed to activate you into your highest potential and also to use your collective's potential energy to the greatest degree of success. Let's get started. Hello, Cancer. Listen, this week there is breakthrough energy surrounding your sustainability, your ability to sustain your environment. This could be through income. So this could be work that you do. Now, let's say you're retired, right? And uh, you don't have to have that physical work for your income anymore. This would still apply to you. This would be breakthrough energy in how you are sustaining your environment. Maybe something is just coming to you. This also would apply if you no longer want to deal with income. Let's say you have land and you're learning how to live off of the land. You're farming. You've got your own way to have water, a well. You've got your own way to have electricity. You know, you figured all of this out, right? And animals. Well, this is surrounding your sustainability, something you do to sustain yourself. There's a lot of positive potential here. There's breakthrough energy. This indicates that you might have an epiphany about something, an idea. Something might appear to you or someone. Now, listen, for a lot of you, there might have been some sort of drought before this, right? Not necessarily an actual drought, right? But like a drying up of ideas. There's something, some problem you couldn't solve maybe, or something that happened that you did not want to happen, right? It runs contradictory to what you're trying to build or how you sustain yourself. This is your aha moment, right? This energy. Now, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to have that this week, but maybe you will, but something might be pushing you in that direction. So keep your eyes open. Now, if there's nothing like this, this is an opportunity that if something comes up, that energy will be positive for you. So if it looks like it's going to be negative, there's a window of opportunity here where it is going to turn in a much better direction for you. And whatever sort of work that you do, remember, doesn't matter if you're retired or not, or a rancher or not for yourself or whatever, right? Whatever you view as work, right? Uh, how you generate energy to produce something. That's what they're talking about. It produces some treasure. Okay. So it's really, really good. Now, honestly, there's a little bit of sadness all mixed up in here, cancer, for some reason around some decision-making or maybe a decision that you've made. This could involve a decision that someone else around you has had to make. Okay. Like a firm decision. So lean toward this epiphany. Know that this is an opportunity to flow into something solid and out of whatever this disappointment was. Okay. All right. So that's what wants to be said. Cancer soul family. I love you so much. And I will talk to you again as we move toward this fabulous, really, really strong and impactful solar eclipse incoming. Okay. And don't forget we are in a Mercury retrograde. So just no permanent speaking of decisions, right? No permanent contractual decisions, unless it's just already in the works, right? But I wouldn't do anything new. This is, whole month is going to be a Mercury retrograde. So this is discovery. This is reinvention, right? Re-examining all of this stuff. And for you this week, the potential is going to lie around this sustainability. All right. Love you so much, Cancer Soul family. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste. Scorpio, beautiful soul family. Listen, so there's some surprise energy in your collective, big in the collective. And it's important to mention, this is a general reading covering your entire collective. Those of you who are going to reach this transmission, reach this recording. Okay. So it's going to apply to you in some way, but yeah, there's a surprise energy in the collective that shifts you out of a way that you were moving. Like there was a focus one place, a happy focus. It was around something or is around something that you really, really desire. Okay. And this could be big or small, 
But for a lot of you, what the Arcturians are talking about, this feels important, you know, to your human, to you, okay? And so there's some sort of decision that was made, some kind of decision was made that is confusing, that confuses the situation. It's unclear, unclear to you, perhaps unclear to those around you. This could be your decision that you've made, you know, for many of you that might be confusing to others. And so you could sort of swap scenarios, if you will, but there's something around a decision that is a surprise and it's very impactful to you in that it shifts you from one type of like rapid movement that was really closing out a cycle and beginning a new one type of movement, right? Into a more, it's like shifting you, and this is very positive, into observation, into going inward, into balance, really more of an independent thinker, very like achieved, very, you, it's like you're shifting modes from a go-getter type of energy, which there's nothing wrong with that, right? But it's like, you're seeing this from a perspective of it's already done and whatever happens is fine. I'm going to observe. And so it's really, again, and this is coming out for the entire collective in big part because we're learning how to create so much. And it's because of the frequency you're at, basically. Okay. The frequency that you primarily reside in is giving you these other perspectives. And part of the reason for these messages from the Arcturians is to shift you and activate you into that mode. So you're going to hear this a lot repetitively from the Arcturians that you can see from this other perspective pan out, if you will. Right. And you see you are able to do this from many different angles, regardless of somebody else's decision, even if it was your own decision that you felt you had to make. So it's really interesting how this pans out because it could, from another perspective, right, just be viewed as heartbreak, sorrow, damaging, but it's because you can't see beyond it. Once you see beyond what the immediate circumstances look like, you realize, nope, I still have all these tools. Everything can still go well and is going well. I'm just going to shift the way I'm doing things and I'm going to do it very independently. And then you have success. So <laughs> there's huge potential for that type of maneuver. And so in uh, pretty much every uh, sign, the Arcturians have said, you can utilize this type of potential in any instance throughout this week, not just even if you are experiencing this and something else comes along that's not this big, it's about the potential to really pan out and see a situation in a different light and still be extremely successful. That's really where you're going. That's where you're expanding to anyway. So it's almost like it's flexing a muscle. You're lifting a weight right now learning how to exercise repetitively this muscle to win, basically, right? You're not winning against someone else, but you are just able to bring in what you need. Let's put it that way, because the word win can be pretty loaded, right? But it's not about a competition. It's about bringing to yourself a desired success, a desired level of comfort, happiness, and stability, and peace, that's what it's about, Scorpio. Let me know if any of that resonates below and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste. Hello, Pisces, beautiful soul family. This message is going to be pretty similar to Scorpio's. So you might have a little bit of both in your chart. You don't have to though, but if you're coming this way, uh, let's just say Scorpio could also apply. Who knows, right? But basically, you are going to be successful, but you don't necessarily know that. All right. If you're listening, you might know that. Okay. Full disclosure. Clearly you may know that you guys are a very expanded crew that show up to me. So even if you're new to me, if you found this reading, you are fast expanding into higher frequencies. You are going through some sort of shift if you're attracted to this, whether you know it or not. Okay. Um, and it's a beautiful ship, just so you know, that wanted to be said. However, don't get in your emotions so much. That's what the Arcturians are saying this week. It might feel like, emotionally speaking, you are maybe somewhere that you can't climb out of. Something might really kind of have you down. Um, and so they want you to really be slow and steady moving through those emotions 
but not sitting in them because whatever this obstacle is, and we're using the word obstacle here, but there are different words for this, right? So apply whatever you need to apply around this energy of, you know, what's perceived as an obstacle. And that's what they want you to know. That is the perception that it's an obstacle, but it's not really the obstacle you think it is. It just might be slowing you temporarily to perhaps organize your thoughts and sort of come out of some sort of emotional malaise is the word they're using. Okay. <laughs> not my word, but theirs. And you're going to come out of this because the truth is you are definitely poised for some type of success and it's success that you want. You are poised to move from this emotional energy, which there's nothing wrong with emotional energy, right? But they're talking about the type of emotions that will bring you out of the frequency range you don't want. So life is about balance, right? You need those beautiful emotions and your specific propensity to comb through those emotions and use them. You are built for that. So that's not what the Arcturians are talking about. They're talking about something that could bring you out of the realm where you really want to be, where you can keep expanding. They're specifically talking about that. Um, they want you to come out of that in this case and balance it with more mental creativity, plan a little bit, you know, get some resources in line. Um, just sort of come into that because you are coming into balance. Balance is going to be restored. Whatever this perceived obstacle is, the way they're putting it, is it is very temporary. You are moving toward success and into this more grounded, balanced state, even if it doesn't look like it. Now, this is a collective reading, of course. So if you can't think of anything like in your life at this very moment, this isn't happening. There's a high potential. Something like this is going to happen. Don't let that scare you. It might not even feel bad to you at that time. Everybody's not going to have this particular thing in a big way, but the energy potential is there for you regardless to use in a positive direction. Okay. Wherever it may apply. So that is what the Arcturians want you to know. Beautiful Scorpio soul family. Okay. And remember we are in a Mercury retrograde, nothing to freak out about, right? But things tend to slow down in terms of concrete structural decision-making. In other words, like contracts, for instance, signing things, you know, really getting something started in a big technical way might need to wait if it's not already in motion. A lot of you already know that, but just wants to be said here because it seems like something might be in the works for a lot of you. So just um, examine all of these messages that the Arcturians are giving you and just apply it where it belongs in your life, but do not freak out. Don't be expecting some big catastrophe if it's not, if you don't already resonate with maybe something happening, just know how to use the potential energy. That's all they're saying. Okay. <laughs> all right. Love you, Scorpio soul family. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste.